Okay. What that mean? Okay. Oh, it's on. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Uh oh, let me get my hand from shaking. Hello, everybody. How you doing? This is James Slim Overton, and uh, I'm with Alvira uh, Hopper Williams. No, uh, Ho Hopper <laughs> Johnson Williams. <laughs> yeah, I've been knowing her all my life, and I, I can't get that right. But anyway, I'll hear what this is. I gotta call you back. Yeah, and she's the uh, president of the Wilson Ward Civic League, and we're sitting out here in the uh, Reflection Garden. No, of, it's the uh, Wilson Ward Wilson Sports Civic League Meditation Garden. Meditation. I, I always call it reflection because <laughs> I reflect when I sit out here. But she corrected me. But anyway, we're sitting out here, and I think she wanted to say a few words about... Uh, let me turn around so you can see. Uh, hey, look how pretty our garden is. Waiting for everything to bloom. Waiting for everything to bloom. But this, is, this is the pump. This is the meditation. Okay. I'll just put it on here and let her talk. Oh, okay. Well, first off, let me say this. Thank you so much for having this. But let me say something else first. I want to let it be known. This is our meditation garden. And I've come out here several times and seen people out here with their dogs off leash. I don't know if it's, we can do it by law or whatever, but I just want to say this. This is not a dog park. Nobody want to come in here with a bunch of dogs running loose and wild in here digging holes for people to fall down and then they want to sue the city because they didn't take care of their dog. Should you come out here with a dog, please, please, please make sure that dog is on leash at all times. Clean up after your dog because I shouldn't have to come out here and clean up your dog food. It's just that simple. We got a station out here for you to do so, so please use it. Be kind to us. If you want to use the park, fine, fine. That's just fine. But think about the people that's coming behind you. They don't want to smell your dog poo. They don't want to step in it. They don't want to trip in there, hole that your dog has dug. If you're not willing to come out here and refill these holes, then don't bring your dogs and let them loose. Please, at all times, keep them on leash. And Elvira, you know, it's not a dog park. It's, it's there's no signage out here that says nope. this is a dog park. But you can bring your dog, but you have to look out for them or you have to be with them. We've seen people bring three dogs out here open the fence and just let the dogs in the fence while they sit in their car. Mm -hmm. Now, that's that's, that's a no-no. That's you know, no. Uh, you know, at least, uh, we like you to have one dog, at least. Or if you bring three like that and they run free, pick up behind each one of them. But we prefer you not bring dogs out here and let them loose like this is a dog park because it's not a dog park. It's not. for the community to come out here and sit and relax. We just happen to be a, have a nice day out here in February yeah. uh, to be able to sit out here. But uh, when the weather breaks, this is going to be a spot where people want to come. And when the heat comes <laughs> and dog poop is left out here, it smells. Mm -hmm. So, so we don't want make that. sure you uh, take care of this park and respect the, the neighborhood yes. enough to know this is not a dog park. That's right. This is it's not a, a people dog park. It's, it's, a, it's for people to come and meditate, sit down and listen to God, listen to the birds, just listen to your own inner thoughts. But you can't do it if you got a bunch of dogs yapping and they're not on leash. And you're not coming in here if you got loose dogs in here. So please be mindful of the fact that this is a people park, not a dog park. And we ask you to take into consideration us. And, and let the people know that uh, they still can buy bricks for out here. Oh, yeah. Uh, this is an ongoing fundraiser for the Wilson Ward Civic League, Gospel Civic League. We do a brick fundraiser. Hey, James, you're going to take some pictures of the brick because... You can put your names down. You can reminisce our Helen Norma Scholarship Fund. Uh, this year, we're working real, real, real hard because we need to step up our game just a little bit. If we don't get to do it but one time, let this be the year that we do it. We're looking to... You got it? Yeah. Let me come back on right now. Okay, we're looking to uh, do better than we've been doing. <coughs> Excuse me. We're giving out scholarships to graduating seniors from the three high schools in Portland. Uh, Narcom Wilson, I'm sorry, Narcom Minor, Lord help me, and Church and High School. So whoever see this in this area, make sure you get in touch with the children at the school, the three high schools, and let them know. Go talk to the counselors or the principals to see what it takes to get an application. There should be applications at the school already for each one of the uh, high schools in the area. And we're asking that you get the application submitted to the Civic League no later than April the 30th, May the 1st. It's just that simple. But the sooner you get it back to us, the sooner we can process some things. We're not asking for a whole lot, a little simple SA, where you want to go to college, get your GPA 
up at I think it's at what 2.68 or 3. Point something like that right about right now. Our uh, scholarship committee is waiting. Please submit the applications because I know, I know with certainty we are not the only, we are the only Civic League uh, hey, that's giving out scholarships, but you got other organizations that's giving out scholarships yeah, to these apply students. For, apply for all of them. Apply for all of them. You got the Eastern Stars, you got the Alphas, you got the Omega Psi Phi people, you got Deltas, you got everybody giving out scholarships. It's money out there to be had young people so get out there and get it get involved with the city get involved with your community get you some more credit because colleges look at that stuff that's what they look at they want to see what kind of people they bringing into the world but see once you leave high school you ain't no kid no more you grown welcome to the grown world you have not because you ass not so get out here and do something sometimes it don't always have to be a paid thing sometimes you just volunteer some of your time and believe it or not it goes a long way yeah it can make a difference where you accept it in college or not, you know, you know when you're competing with other students and you have more on your volunteer yeah. or resume mm -hmm. part that than others. So, you know, work in your community. Work in your community, work in your church, work in your school. Do what you got to do to make what you want work for you. Yes, indeed. You got to want it bad enough. I want this city cleaned up real bad. That's what I want. So let's get out here and clean it up. And we can talk about sometimes a lot of this is the city's responsibility. Yeah. But sometimes when you see things, you just have to take the initiative and go. If trash is in your front yard, you don't have to wait for the city to come. City go out there and pick it. It's in your neighbor's yard. Pick it up. City ain't coming to clean up no trash in your yard. That's your job. My daddy used to always say, regardless of what the inside of your house look like, if your front yard is clean and well manicured, don't nobody know. Don't nobody know. <laughs> it's just that simple. Yep. So that's the way I feel about this city. Born in Portsmouth, raised in Portsmouth, got married, raised my children in Portsmouth. More likely I'm going to die in Portsmouth. But I want the city cleaned up. We got people coming here to our new jewel in the city called the Rivers Casino. People coming from everywhere, they might want to even buy a home here as a place to go during the summertime. Who knows? But they got to want to be here, and to want to be here is to make it attractive to them. And all those who live in the uh, neighborhoods of the Wilson Ward Gospel Civic League, please yes. join. And if you can't make it to every meeting, just join and pay your dues. Uh, that $25 a year goes a long way. It does. To what uh, the Civic League is trying to do along with their fundraising efforts. So yes. just join, join and the attend city. the meetings. Attend uh, the meetings. You'll be surprised how much information you'll get. We're working And who home. shows up at our yes. meetings. And sometimes we're surprised ourselves. Yes. <laughs> to who show up. But if there's information that you want, we have an email uh, merge with, with that, with that goes out every month. So you can find out who's coming. If you got any questions, we ask that you submit them to our secretary, Ms. Maurice Taylor. Uh, I think it's Lady One, Lady T, or Lady M, or something. But you We're can contact me later, mm -hmm. and I'll give you the email address. And just email her with questions about concerns in your neighborhood or whatever. Uh, and hopefully we can find a way to get the answer for you. We don't know everything, but we don't know because we don't ask. And so I'm asking you to help me help you clean up our cities. Right now we're working on a project that I know everybody think I'm crazy. But I'm trying to clean up Portsmouth Boulevard as a start because that's the name of our city and that was the reason. We're going to start at Gate 10, downtown Portsmouth, all the way up to Turnpike Road. And so far, so far, I have enough groups to get that much done. But we can go a little bit further, as I was speaking with the CEO of Rivers Casino today. We can go a whole lot further than that. We can clean up Cavalier Boulevard and, and Victory, and they're going to bring out volunteers as well to help us clean up our city. And it's just a start because we got main thoroughfares to me. And if I'm wrong, somebody will correct me because they look for a way to make something negative out of something positive. That's the way some folks are. But we, the main thoroughfares to me, Portsmouth Boulevard, Frederick Boulevard, Deep Creek Boulevard, George Washington, High Street, Frederick, all of that is leading right there to the casino. And you can see it from the from the interstate as well because we got to clean it up. Yeah, um, you don't have to be from those 
Boston Boulevard or those communities to come out and volunteer to help because you never know when you do something in your neighborhood and you want volunteers, we might come so and help you. We might come and help you. Or, you know, more than likely we will. You know, so, if, if you, you know, to sort of uh, give give back to your your community as well. So. You know, I was listening to our, our brother friend this morning on on his show. See you in the morning, uh, Cleves Caspi. Mm -hmm. He said something that made that that didn't resonate, but it just made so much sense. Racism is stupid. Mm -hmm. It's really stupid. Right here in our neighborhood, we got whole United Nations. We got black, white, Spanish, Jamaican, you name it. And we get along, basically, all the time. You know why we get along? Because we don't know one another. Mm -hmm. We don't know one another. So I challenge anybody in this neighborhood or that's listening to me, you want to meet with me, talk with me, meet me at the Wilson Ward Gosport Meditation Garden on Saturday. I'll be out here if the weather is permissible. I'll be out here for a couple of hours. I got some cleanup I got to do. So you want to join well, me, join me. This what, is just what something time I you want be to out do here? when I wake up. <laughs> <laughs> well, just ride by, you know, you might see her out here every time. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying to make myself a presence. And, and by me being out here, people can't come with their dogs loose. Because yeah. I am a force. I, and and as uh, I've been, I got shade on me the other night, which was funny. Because that shade felt good. Because it was a compliment to us. Not me. It was a compliment to us. The work that we have done in this neighborhood is because we want it done. It ain't an Elvira thing. It ain't a me thing. Because, see, a teamwork, when you got teamwork, dream work happens. Look at our garden. This is team effort here. This is what we do. We work as a team. And I can be worse, and I can be persistent, and I can keep right on getting on your last word. And so it's up and popping now. Because I'm feeling some kind of way. I feel really good. <laughs> <laughs> well, you should. There's been a lot of work uh, put into this and with the latest addition of the fence and everything. And we can't repeat it enough. You know, this is not a dog park. No, it's not. We, we welcome oh. you to come out. But if you have to come out, pick up after your dogs. Mm -hmm. But don't bring your dogs three Unleash. or four dogs in unleashed and just let them loose in the park. No, it might be that. the day someone decide to come out here and sit. And they can't. And meditate. Uh, one, other, one other thing, at the end of this month, and I forgot it at my Civic League meeting, but I'm going to say it now. On February the 25th, for a couple of hours, I got one of our uh, members coming out here. She's a quilter. And she's got the black history of quilting. And she's going to come out here. And I'm going to be out here with it. So anybody interested in learning something about us as a black people, because we got so many things going on in this community, I didn't realize the talent that we have out here. We got seamstresses, we got quilters, we got James Slim Overton, the son of uh, Judge Overton. And <laughs> we just got everybody out yeah. here. And now it just makes it that much better for the community. So let's get out here and meet one another. Let's just do a simple meet and greet. Yeah, just and come on out here so we can get to know who you are. You can join the Civic League if you want to. And we don't meet all year long. We're going to this year, this year, we're going to take us a break in July and August. Mm -hmm. Sure is. We're going to take us a break. Can you believe it, y'all? Because we need it. Because once we go back to work, once we go back into session in September, it's on Be ready to go. all over again. Yeah, well, come out. Uh, the lady with the quilt, come out. If you come out, bring your young students because it's a history behind those mm -hmm. quilts. They were beautiful, but there was a, a way of communicating back in the day those quilts that uh, the ladies made yes. and it was a message in each one of them and that's how they communicated you know silently about what was going on you know in the community so it's a rich history behind those quilts as, as well as the the uh the uh i can't i'm lost for words but anyway it's the beauty of them i'll say that the beauty all of is them. well we have our very own i call him my my mentor my friend uh, Mr. James Slim Overton himself. We celebrate his eighth. Eighth year. Yeah. yeah. We celebrate his eighth birthday on the same night. We happened to have one of the most bodacious meetings in the world. Yeah. Great and uh, it was an awesome meeting, and we celebrated him. To God be the glory. He's still with us. It's his fault that I'm in this position. <laughs> <laughs> That's why I'm still here, so I can make sure you stay. Yeah. So God had a plan, and we just didn't see it. Yeah. But we're working it according to His plan. There's nothing that we do. It's what He makes us do. Yeah. And as we close out here, I, I would say. Make sure you live your purpose. 
it's not always the first thing you do, but sometimes it's the second or third thing you do that is your true purpose. So <laughs> make sure you open up the opportunity for your true purpose. And I'm sure Alvaro will tell you she did quite a few things before she became President Wilson. Oh, God, War, yes. <laughs> and it definitely was her purpose, the God-given purpose. Thank you so All much. All right. Thanks, everybody, for watching, and we'll see you next time.